etiquette is something we have to restructure uh, or reintroduce to people. There is an angle of etiquette in all aspects of our lives, at work, at home, business, social, school, play. Etiquette as it relates to family, friends, and foe. There's just no getting around it. Etiquette is in every aspect of our lives. I'm Sabrina Samuels, and welcome to my show, Modern Day Etiquette. Welcome to another edition of the Sabrina Samuels Show with me, Sabrina Samuels. On this edition and for the next few editions, I'm going to answer questions that you sent me via email, and I hope that that will bless your life as well as others. I have an email here from a young lady, and she says, Sabrina, I've been watching your YouTube channel, and I noticed that on one of the on one of these segments, or one of the clips, I'm sorry, you mentioned that you've been married 33 plus years. How did you do it? Wow. Well, I assume that this is a young woman, just the nature of uh, the rest of the email. Uh, she is new, newly married, and you know she's already experiencing the turbulence that goes on in marriage. Look, first of all, let me say this. Every marriage, I don't care who it is or how good it is, you're going to have pitfalls and valleys. You're going to have ups and downs, highs and lows in any situation. The bottom line is what it took you to get them is going to take to keep them. That's male and female. This, this might have come from a female, but men, the same thing. The one thing that I definitely can attribute our success, uh, our marriage being a success, is number one, we have God as our foundation. Now that's just truly the bottom line. Now whether you're young or old, you might not want to hear that or not, it's the truth. And you have to have a foundation, and that's the foundation that we have ch uh, chosen. Number two, when I met my husband, I was a, a jazzy young lady, and I'm an old jazzy young lady now because I kept myself up, and my husband kept himself up. One thing he used to tell me all the time, oh, I can let myself go, you'll still love me. I said, don't do it, don't do it. And you know what, he tells me the same thing in no uncertain terms. Of course, be the best you can be. We change as we get older. Things happen, we change. Uh, you never know what circumstance might come upon you, but you have to eat right, you have to do the right things. Uh, you have to love and understand one another. Get to know one another. When the sex thing wears off, and of course you want that to always be wonderful, but let me tell you something. If you base your marriage on just sex, you're in trouble. You have to know how to cook, communicate, and he has to know how to cook and communicate too. Even though I'm more of a homebody, I enjoy that kind of thing. People call me, um, well, they, they know I love doing that. I love keeping the home beautiful. I love cooking. I love to do gourmet cooking. I love down-home cooking. But I also love being sexy. I love uh, stimulating my husband's mind. He loves stimulating my mind. We have our challenges from time to time. Everybody's going to have that. But we don't give up. And we fall on our knees. Now, if my husband makes me mad, you know what I do? I tell, I say, I'm going to tell God on you. I'm going to tell the Lord on you. And he does the same thing to me. And that's scary when that happens because if somebody's falling on their knees talking to a higher power about what you have done wrong, you're in trouble. So I tell young people all the time, have a foundation. Have a foundation. And the foundation is that higher power. So have your foundation. First of all, first and foremost. Number two, keep your marriage interesting. Ladies, what it took to catch him is going to take to keep him. Keep yourself looking good. And don't push him away when, you know, he wants to get cuddly with his wife. You know, he you know, he's still got it going on. He might want to do the do the do the do the do. Don't 
push him away and you got an attitude problem because he didn't say something right or do something right. And men, vice versa. When she cuddles up to you, don't push her away because she might have said something wrong or didn't cook the, the meal the right way or didn't, or didn't have it ready when you came home. Uh, you know, work together. Work together. Pray together. These are important things. And one thing we try to do, whether we live uh, in separate locations from time to time because of work schedules, because of business, etc., get on that phone and communicate and say something beautiful, something loving, and never ever go to bed with negativity on your mind. Never go to bed without saying I love you or without a kiss or without saying something positive. And always embrace life and embrace each other and try to find the good in each other all the time. Because you wake up and next thing you know you don't want to to see that same person or it gets old. That's what young people say nowadays. You, you better be careful with that. Because everybody got the same you know what. Every man got the same. You, it might be a, a, a different uh, size of the ship, the motion of the ocean. Same thing with a woman. It might be a different uh, 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 mate, but it's the same model. So with that said, learn how to work together with all aspects of a relationship. It's so important and it will keep the years happy. It will keep you uh, engaged with each other. It will keep romance in the air and do romantic things. And don't feel like you always have to be around other people to do something romantic. Men, work with your women. Women, work with your men and work with your, your, your significant other. You know, whatever your life is, may your foundation be uh, firm and may the joy and happiness, whatever it is that attracted you together, may it stay relevant. May it stay happy. And ladies, stay sexy and don't put that stuff on Instagram. Don't do that. Uh-uh. Back in the day, I used to do my little sexy, sexy when my husband comes home, but I wasn't gonna put it out there for everybody else to see. That's not cool. Keep your thing uh, private. Private. Make it wonderful. Make it beautiful. Do what you got to do behind closed doors. And be careful when you start recording this, that, and the other because it might get out and then you're messed up. So use wisdom at all times. And I hope that answered the question for the young lady. Of course, I talked to her personally and we had a, a couple of chuckles and I gave her uh, some, some good juicy information because she did uh, hire my service now. Uh, we did a Skype conference call, so it was beautiful, etc. But this is some good information for you and whoever is watching YouTube right now. Be true to yourself, be the best you can be, and remember, every day that we live on planet Earth, it's a gift. Every day that you get up and breathe, it's a gift. So enjoy it. Smell the roses. Look at this day because it's life. It's beautiful. And enjoy every gift that life brings you. And embrace life. Even the challenges. Learn something from it. And every day will be a valuable one to you. Until next week, I'm Sabrina Samuels, wishing you love, peace, happiness, and our Heavenly Father's divine order. Go to my website, BeckmanEtiquette.com, and see what we have to offer. Take care, and I'll see you next week with another juicy question. Bye for now. Modern Day Etiquette.